Starch Madness continues a tribute to the potato today on Great TV. What do you got? These are called Smokey O'Malley's for St. Patrick's Day. That is looking really good. Fired up. <laughs> Smokey O'Malley's is really a tribute to the potato. We have St. Patrick's Day coming around, Irish, Irish potatoes. Just a nice little um, handheld on the grill, kind of pop it in your mouth, kind of appetizer is what we're going to do. And it's really simple, it's kind of quick, and I think we should, uh, you know, get moving on with it. We're going to start with baby Dutch yellow potatoes, sometimes called fingerling potatoes. I like the baby Dutch yellows because uh, they have a nice buttery flavor to them. Now, I par-baked these a little bit in the oven just so I could get a good scoop. So we need to make sure we get a good scoop, right? Go for it. So all we're going to do really is cut these in half. And we'll cut a few of them. We'll just make a couple of them and then we'll kind of go through the whole process all the way through. So you say a buttery taste. What, uh, what, I mean, what are the different options you would have for this? You got, I've seen all sorts of little red potatoes, fingerlings. Um. A, a fingerling is kind of a mini russet potato. And a russet potato kind of has a kind of a gritty kind of taste to it. A red potato has kind of a waxy kind of taste to it. The um, yellow potato, or the Yukon Gold, if you want to call it that, or Dutch Yellow sometimes they're called, has just kind of a combination of the russet and the waxy uh, red potato mixed in with it, and it makes just a really nice potato. I like them for all kinds of different things. I like to use Yukon Gold for bakers. I like to use them for potato salad. They just hold up well, and they do a really good job. Okay. The, uh, the secret, or the trick, if you want to call it that, to this whole thing, is I needed something that I could... Um, make this to scoop this thing out with mm -hmm. and a teaspoon seemed to be too big so I've got my measuring sticks out and I'm going to use the quarter teaspoon measure Good. and I'm just going to give this a nice little see how easy that is how easy that makes that now you can take the, the scoop from the middle and you can put this in with the mashed potatoes if you want or you can use it in another dish um, you could boil it down a little bit further use the starches for uh, um, you know, thickening something up or whatever you want to do. But all we're going to do here is really, Bill, we're going to make potato skins, but it's just kind of like a mini potato skin is what it is. I love a good potato skin. Perfect. I do, I do too. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill it up with a mashed potato mix. I made a three cheese mashed potato, kind of a cheddar-y kind of mix. And there's three of them right there. So we'll just kind of set those out. There's four. And let's do another one just so we can get an itty bitty one. You can see how easy this is to scoop out. All right, I put these on, I put this in the oven. You could put them in the microwave for a minute or two if you wanted, um, not a minute or two. I'd say a whole bag, maybe it takes five minutes in the microwave to par cook them. You don't want to cook them all the way through because if you do, well then when we put them on the grill, they're just going to disintegrate the grill. We don't want that to happen. So then we take the, the potato and here's trick number two. I've put my mashed potatoes in a bag and then all I'm going to do is cut a little bit of the corner off of the bag right here just like this, oh, and then yeah. I have a like a piping bag. So this is a disposable piping bag, so I'm not gonna have to, you know, I'm not gonna use up my wife's piping bag. She gets upset when I, you know, use up, Mary gets upset when I use the piping bags up. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just fill that, see how easy that comes out of there? Yeah, yeah. And we just kind of fill it up. So you're squirting the mash mashed potato right in the middle of it. How'd you get the name Smokey O'Malley? Um, I was looking for a cool name for uh, for a potato. O'Malley is an Irish thing because I wanted to have an Irish kind of a thing uh, uh, feel to it because it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So O'Malley is it. We're going to put them on the grill and we're going to wrap them in bacon. So I figured that was a smoky thing. So that's why I call them the Smoky O'Malley's. Okay. Next up. So the next step is to season them a little bit. We'll go ahead and uh, um, sprinkle a little bit of... Uh, your favorite seasoning on it? I'm using Tony's seasoning. You know, I like Tony's seasoning. We all love it. it. It's kind of a, a, a all-purpose seasoning for doing all this kind of stuff. It's got a lot of salt in it, so I like salt. And then we'll top them with a little bit of our of our jalapeno peppers. I'm, I'm waiting for one of us to, to sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the Tony seasoning is always good for sneezing, isn't Almost it? Almost always, yeah. We'll be ready to... We'll be ready to go. And then we take our bacon, and we don't need a lot of bacon with this whole thing. So we only need a little bit. So I'm going to quarter the bacon. So we'll cut it in half. And we'll cut it in half again. Grab a toothpick, because you need a toothpick to, to make it all happen. And then you grab up the O'Malley, or the bacon. Put it over the top like this. Give it a skewer. 
it almost comes a becomes a potato popper. It is a potato popper. That goes to the grill. We could go ahead and dust the top of this again with a little bit of uh, of our favorite seasoning, and that is how you assemble a smoky. You know Let's that? we'll enjoy a cold beverage. This is a show that takes about a beer to drink. Put some more together. Throw them on the grill and see how they turn out. There you go. See how they look. So how long did you cook those for? You know, we had to cook them until the bacon was done. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I like to serve them on the side with maybe a little bit of ranch dressing or, or something along those lines. Because uh, it's really a bit tasty. I love, we got a little char, a little bit. And this in the top bacon is looking dazzling. Fantastic. That is a hell of a treat for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, recipe online at greattv.com, Smoky O'Malley. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Make sure you like us. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable on every chance you get of your mama. I may just eat the toothpick too.